Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here in Passy of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, as you can tell, I'm talking about Avengers today. I'm talking about Avengers now. Avengers Endgame. It's actually going to be showing tonight. Uh, I'm going to go and catch the midnight screening. But I thought before I go and do that, I should probably have a couple of thoughts about what happening in the movie and maybe make a couple of guesses. I don't know. If, the, if that, anybody's interested in hearing those, um, these are absolutely completely off the top of my head guesses about stuff that will actually happen in Endgame. Now, uh, we've got a lot of opportunity to theorize up from what information we've already seen over the last while for the gear, for the movie, but um, I'm a little bit uh, perturbed and worried that maybe the, uh, I I've been going on a wild goose chase in my head for the last um, couple of months thinking about what it could actually be going to be the plot of Endgame, and I'll just outline it here quickly. And then go like, yeah, I can't understand why it's absolute bullshit. But like, I, I, in my head canon, that kind of sound like fun. So in my head, the Avengers Endgame movie was going to essentially be three parts, kind of um, three parts, three acts, almost as if it was done like a three episode finale to a TV series where every single kind of bit leads on the next, leads on the next. So you're, you're going to get your arc up to the end of act one and then act one was going to actually almost be like a full story into itself. Then the next one was going to be like another attempt from a different angle. Then the third one's going to be another attempt from a different angle. But with the way Infinity War kind of was done, we know they're going to just weave back and forth between each other every 25 to 30 minutes anyway. So it's kind of the way they're going to do it, or the way they did it. But are they going to do it again for Endgame rather than actually trying to get everybody together as soon as possible? Which makes very little sense because that's a lot of personality, a lot of actors, and a lot of time kind of spent trying to make sure everybody gets their bit rather than actually just having multiple units shooting. So, like, the logistics of production kind of nullifies that basic idea. But with that, I had a thought. The same structure, but with Tony Stark actually having a wonderful wild, wild tour through the entirety of the Marvel franchise, considering that Iron Man 1 started this whole thing for like about 10 years, and that... I'm pretty sure he'd be happy to just not do this anymore uh, because he said he's just doing it for a paycheck in a lot of ways, but also being a charismatic and important character who could, write, could have easily written himself out from two movies ago, but they kind of had a reason to keep him around. So most likely person to not return to the Marvel franchise after this movie is, of course, our Tony Stark. So... What would you do with him on the finale? You give him a reason to go back through a lot of events and kind of fix the things he didn't like, maybe. And in the process, what I thought would happen was that you would actually have uh, Tony Stark being present for the the moment, the the Avengers, that's you moment for every single character that's part of the Avengers team, from Hawkeye and Black Widow to the creation of the Hulk. Like literally have Tony kind of like just go on a world tour to make sure he built that built that armor for the world by making sure all of his friends were there and in the process of doing so let them do the thing because in the end Tony had to be alive for this to happen because of Doctor Strange's kind of prediction of like the 14 million possibilities that he went through and only one works Tony had to live to do so and he gave up the time stone or gave up was it the time stone yeah he gave up the time stone just so that Tony would live it's because well fuck he's the only one that can actually get this completed um, and the, how I imagine they would do so with this, considering they won't have the time stone itself and the ability to kind of travel through time the way they would have hoped to previously, is possibly using a, a mixture of the light speed travel from Captain Marvel and a little bit of the shrinking capabilities of Hank Pym, and by doing so, creating a quantum tunnel that allows him to actually kind of wander through timelines. But the big problem is that he kind of like almost like quantum leap style has to keep going through events that were key moments in history, but he doesn't. Have complete control so essentially he has to just kind of fix things as he goes along I had this whole thought simply because of um one of the shots from the original trailer the first trailer the teaser trailer that came out for endgame where uh scott lang is actually standing outside of the avengers compound and going like is is anybody can somebody buzz me in or it's me do you, do you remember me from the airport um the uh the the question actually about that footage was was that, uh, I think specifically, Cap says, is this live? And it's, I, I don't know if that was a cut line or an intentional cutaway to make it feel like that it actually was archive footage. But I, in my head, looking at it, it looked like going like this. If he, you would not get this close to the Avengers base 
although there, a lot of people are dead right now. But um, you wouldn't get this close to the Avengers base if it actually was still the Avengers base. So in my head, it was it was actually Stark Industries because that's what it used to be. It was a Stark Industries warehouse back in the day. So maybe it's actually pulled from the archive footage while they were searching for Scott Langer for looking for anybody's missing faces. They like footage was pulled up from one like this was the last time he was seen. I was like, wait, but there's no way it could be the last time he was seen. This was such a long time ago. So maybe that's a whole story to see. Um, time travel, I've got a feeling, has to be kind of part of this to undo the actions that happened previously. But in the process of doing so, you've got uh, all the possibilities of things that could go wrong, the ripple effects of butterflies through the universe, and uh, villains, heroes, and people not existing anymore, or completely changing in their who they look like. Speaking of people changing who they look like, uh, one other thought that popped in my head was that there is at least one scroll in Endgame, just for the fact that we actually just got a movie with scrolls, we just got a movie with sh shapeshifting, we're just bringing back the person who deals with shapeshifters on a regular basis. I'm taking a guess, and I'll just because of the ca of the actor change and being completely unrelated to different things, but maybe they would actually like to tie it in for a possible future secret invasion, would be uh, Rhodey turning out to actually have been a scroll after his crash. The the miraculous recovery, the speed, and his ability... I mean, it was two years. Two years is a lot of work, especially with the amount of technology involved in it. But maybe, 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 just maybe. That's actually a scroll underneath on Rhodey. Although they would have noticed whenever he uh, crashed and fell, because don't they have a different blood? They're not blue. Cree or blue? I don't know if the scroll. I think scrolls are green. Are scrolls green? Do they have green blood? I can't remember from actually watching the movie. <laughs> but yeah, if there was a, any possibility, that would be the person who would be, in fact, a uh, scroll. So um, what else did I actually think about end? What else did I think was going to happen in Endgame? Outside of that uh, three-hour-long structure, or the three hours for each act structure, with it being cut out between every half hour to 25 minutes, being to another group in different places, like they're switching back to space and back to Earth, back to space, back to Earth. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that, that's almost a guarantee of what it's going to be. They're not going to have that all resolved in the first 20 months. In fact, I think the first 20 months are probably going to be spent on Earth, um, not even thinking about who's left in space and who's going to be around. That might actually tend, I imagine that could almost be coming in the second hour of the movie. Um, basically, considering it was one of the first things that we were shown whenever they teased stuff, I was kind of going like, mm, maybe that's actually good to give them time to actually kind of figure this shit out. Um, especially with the fact that uh, the Tony and it's straight because that's strange is gone. The only people left the ship are Tony and Nebula. Yeah, yeah, Tony, Nebula, Star Lord. And, uh, Rocket, yeah. No, Rocket, because Rocket's actually on Earth. So literally it's just Star-Lord, Nebula, and Tony? Right, that is a depressing trio of people to have around. Damn! Right, well, um, <laughs> I don't know if I actually, especially with the kind of horrible shit that's happened to them in the last, uh, last movie. Um, I, I can't wait to go and watch this. I need to go and get changed. I need to go and get ready. But I was just going to want to upload this and have a couple of thoughts. Do you have any thoughts? Do you have any opinions? Do you think anything that I said is possibly going to happen? Um, if, like I said, all this is just guesses all the top of my head. There will be a video where I talk about this after I go and see the movie. I will do a non-spoiler talk about um, things that are worthwhile if you're actually interested in the background of if I can recognize them. Um, things I might spot in this movie. But uh, I'll do that after we get back from the screening tonight. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you actually get to see the film as soon as you can. Avoid all the spoilers. And if you, any of this actually sounds about right, or I was right in any way, shape, or form, then dang, share this video around. I managed to predict it just beforehand. Very unlikely, though. But thank you very much for watching. I will see you all next video. Bye.